I remember one time I seen on the internet yeah. when, when Charlie Murphy bombed at a college. I and was, Charlie I, was I, like, man, take yeah. your money back, man. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I don't give a fuck, my John. I but remember that's how Charlie would be mad. Right, rest in peace to <laughs> Charlie peace, Murphy. Rest in peace, Charlie. Charlie Murphy called me one time because <laughs> I was around him when he started doing comedy in New York. <laughs> you know, I was at this place called the Laugh Lounge, and I remember right. one time Charlie called me, said, "Yo, Gaffey, man." <laughs> said, "Yo, it's Charlie, Charlie Murphy, <laughs> man. Yo, this shit's crazy, man. I had to tell you something, man. I was in Alabama and shit, right? I was in balance and Bama and shit. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> so." I'm, you know, everybody come see Charlie Murphy and shit. It's right. packed and shit, sold out and shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm on stage and shit, you know, doing my thing, shit, you know, working my shit out and right. shit. So this nigga, you know, start talking while I'm up there and shit, you know? And then he just kept talking, I said, yo, my man, shut the fuck up, man, with your bam ass, nigga. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> and he goes, yo, God, I shouldn't have done that shit, man. The whole crowd turned on Charlie Murphy, man. That shit was stupid, man. What the fuck, man? I don't know what the fuck I was doing, man. They was here for Charlie Murphy, and I fucked it up, man. I just wanted to tell you this shit, man. I was like, oh, okay, hey, Charlie. Because you let Charlie talk. When you Charlie, got to talk. Dude, Char Charlie Murphy. They don't make dudes like he, that. He's like, he, he's almost like a, a thug that did comedy. <laughs> Like he was like a thug and he never really opened his mouth. It almost like he always talked through his teeth. I think 50 Cent learned that from him. He was, cause I remember the first time I met him in an elevator was just me and Charlie Murphy, oh, right? Oh man, you and don't I, get that I'm, moment. And I'm like, I'm auditioning for something for Eddie Murphy. I forgot what movie it yeah, was. Yeah. He was like, you came in to see my brother, right? <laughs> and I was kind of like, yo, is me and him going to fight? <laughs> He was saying, yeah, I seen a lot of you comedians in here coming on here talk to my brother, man. Be good, nigga. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. I was like, oh, Cause shit. Eddie, this is what Eddie Murphy did. Oh, my uh, Eddie God. Murphy took this Charlie like Murphy. This like early 90s. Yeah, he took Charlie Murphy's face and made it famous. Yeah. Because Charlie Murphy's like a darker version, version of, of him. of Eddie, yeah. Because I used to be like, I remember Harlem Nights. I was like, there's a guy that looks like Eddie. I thought it was Eddie when I yeah. first met. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But like, I was like, he's, he's, he's kind of like harder more looking. dangerous. Yeah. And I remember doing his podcast. I have it on my Instagram. <laughs> he goes, God, man, you had to do my podcast. Okay. And so I come over there and I'm like recording. I say, yo, I'm with Charlie Murphy. We doing this podcast. Yo, Charlie, what's the podcast called? Called the podcast. <laughs> He'll make this shit up. Called the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Fucking like Charlie he had no title, no title, no nothing. One of the one of the coolest. coolest. He, he, he exuded New York. Like yeah, he, like a New York a exuded. It. He's the one that influenced Eddie Murphy uh, to do comedy. I don't know if you've seen uh, him on Jimmy Kimmel. Eddie Murphy oh, imitated. Yeah, yeah, he goes, man, you did, yeah, they got to open mic down the street and get like twenty five dollars. Man, you should just go down there and do that shit. That, <laughs> that's one of the funniest. It, like, yeah, yeah, man, you funny, man. You over there and do that shit, man. <laughs> man shit. Yeah. When, at what point in your career? <laughs> because you are a man. We gonna call you the man of a million voices, I, right? Uh, a couple, maybe it, like ten. But the know. ones you do. Are so flawless. You you observe. You got a couple got, too, though, I got, bro. I got a couple good ones too. You got a couple. That Charlie was tight. Yeah. You have a couple I of got, them. I got a good day. I see you. You're, you're, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. First of all, man, I'm just gonna say this today. That's uh, awesome. Cause Davis, he's very simple. That's awesome. It's like like it's certain things that he does. Yeah. That's it's, it's, it's his tone and his voice. I can grab it. Like like if I if like you said uh, uh, earlier, you said if you could if I could sit and absorb it, I could get it. Yeah. Yeah. Certain people. I and if it's it. in your range, like it's like Godfrey. Listen, because he called me. Right. Called me. I was in um Dayton, Ohio. Right. I was in Dayton. Yeah. <laughs> I was in Dayton, and so you know, and I was, and he called me. He said, "Hey, say hey, nigga, what's up?" He said, it's "Dave." I said, uh, wh "What's up? Why you why you calling me? Like, I, right. I like right, he's like, I'm ten minutes away from you, nigga. You know I live in Ohio. In spring, in, he's in, the in only Yellow black Springs. person I know that lives yeah. out in the middle of right, nowhere. Right. Yellow Springs. Come on, nigga, come through. <laughs> it's like we're having a bash. Gonna have music. Everybody, same old niggas. <laughs> ah, it's gonna be the shit. This. I'm telling you, we have to. We can't be canceled. We have to. <laughs> we are individuals. And we have to." <laughs> It's the truth. 
Yeah, but, I, yeah. Dave, your Dave is dope. Yo, it's like um, I'm not known for it. Um, doing voices both. So when I do do a voice, people go, oh my God. Yeah. They don't realize it's a talent. Like, um, it, it, it's, it's almost like a, it's, it's like a magic trick, a magic trick because it's, it's, you can, it's, you yeah. can, you can actually transform yourself and they forget to you, even it, see it. It fucks them up. It's the coolest thing is when being like, it, depending on the race of the person, mm -hmm. when, like when you see Frank Caliendo do Morgan Freeman. Oh, it's crazy. Oh my God. Yes. Like, my friend, Andy. He was there. All men have to think delusional things about themselves. I, 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 yeah, my, I, 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 <laughs> this, you, you, how did you do that? I just, you, come on. It's like you, you channel, catch, you're channeling. But you, it's like a, 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 a when you hear, a, I think a, a musician, mm -hmm. when they go, what's the song? Okay. Uh, and it, 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 they're doing, but we're doing it with our voice. Ah, we're frowning the notes. We're listening, ah, and, and you see, and you're tuning sense. your voice to that to, to that. a certain level. Like Liam Neeson, I have a particular set of skills that I've learned over a long career. I don't have money, but what I do have, you know, I'm a nightmare <laughs> to people like you. If you return my daughter, that will be the end of it. But if you don't, I will find you, and when I find you, I will kill you. <laughs> That's like Liam Neeson. I have a particular set of skills that makes me a nightmare for people like you. That's <sighs> that's flawless. John, just, John, yeah. The, the tone and everything. John Facinda, I don't know if, if you're a football guy. Yeah. Okay. John Facinda, remember we grew up on NFL films. Absolutely. December 14th, the Green Bay Packers come on a frozen tundra. <laughs> Vince Lombardi and his Packers knew exactly what had to be done. Dun, da, da, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. The Vikings could ha didn't have a chance with Vince Lombardi leading his team like MacArthur, <laughs> leading his men into war. But yeah. see, that, but see that your natural voice—you you have a baritone. I voice. have a, I have kind of a baritone, so it kind of stays like Jason Statham. When I did Jason Statham for Jason Statham on Sirius XM, right? And I was watching Jason Statham. Like, if you ever watch Lock, Stock, Two Smoking Barrels, Snatch, I'm a Jason Statham fan. Yeah, me too. So yeah, I like, love him. I told you, it's mine. I'm the transporter. It's what I do. And I and I was like, <laughs> I can do him. The first thing we gotta do is you gotta find who it is, and then we're gonna kill him. Yeah, that's what the fuck. <laughs> You could probably let, do. I, 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 I don't. What I, else I you got? I, you I got. I got. Um. It, it, <laughs> I got Chris Tucker. I could do Chris Tucker. Oh, go ahead. Um, really? Um, it's crazy, man. Yesterday, man, I was coming over there, Shit. and I was going to say something, Whew. and then my mama came over. And I was like, Mama! Wow! See, and you go high yeah. with it. Woo. That's good. Yeah, because he's my friend, so but no, I'm but around you're around him. Billy. <laughs> 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 